Hey everyone, I'm Little Cortez Jr. aka Lance Danger here. Um, the camera is looking kind of funky, I don't know why. Uh, I don't know if the video will kind of look like this. Um, maybe I accidentally hit a setting or something, but anyway. Um, I saw Blue Beetle finally yesterday, and it was a lot better than I expected. Or at least it surpassed any expectations I may have had of it. Um, I didn't have like super big expectations like it's not like a incredibly well-known character outside of like the DC fandom and whatnot and also it, it was supposed to be an HBO Max exclusive movie that got bumped up to a cinematic release because you know the higher-ups I guess believed that the movie was good enough to be a cinematic release and I guess it was, you know, it was definitely good enough to be a cinematic release. Um, I actually really enjoyed it. And the screening that I went to was actually pretty full, like a lot more people than I anticipated being there, to be honest, compared to how people were talking about and the media talking about like, oh, it's a disaster that was watching it. Word of mouth isn't going to save the movie. And at least to the screening that I went to, it was pretty full quite a few families with kids and the kids were like excited and from what I was perceiving enjoying the movie I could tell which families were the Latin families by the way they reacted to to the family of Jamie Reyes in the movie and Jamie Reyes himself in some scenes as well which was kind of funny um I think it was a good movie um it definitely had its imperfections it wasn't definitely a perfect movie but for what it was it was a fine movie um had it been released at a different era or a different time it probably would have helped i think definitely um if it were like the type of movie that would have been released pre-pandemic say um for example uh it probably would have done a little better um it also had the unfortunate timing of coming out during the writer's strike as well and the saga of um, writer and actor strike as well um, which I know some pundits on the internet are like ooh that's a lame excuse to excuse the movie doing poorly or whatever it's affected every movie to one extent or another and studios have had to like try to you know uh, market the movie as best as they as they can without the actors and whatnot um barbie which is a good example the marketing pretty much writes itself it's barbie you know it's already an established franchise that everyone on the planet knows something like blue beetle again is very niche in a niche market and in a time where superhero movies aren't doing that great because all the movies at least in my opinion are starting to become a little cookie cutter like the formula is starting to become too obvious and a little stale to an extent and it also comes off the heels of movies like uh, Black Adam, Shazam, Fury of the Gods, and The Flash that didn't do as well as the studios or people expected it to do. So, you know, there's that. And there's also the, it's not going to really be a part of the overall DCEU. Um, apparently, it's going to be part of James Gunn's new vision of that universe but still it's kind of tied to that uh Zack Snyder uh universe you know like the last last movie from that slate is going to be Aquaman 2 later this year I think in November or December or something like that and then after that that's when officially the James Gunn era is going to kick off and whatnot but the movie was good it was a solid movie I would give it a solid B plus the movie good acting um the pace was a little off i think in the beginning of the movie uh the beginning kind of felt a tad bit generic to an extent though i know they had to introduce the characters and whatnot and then like the second and third act actually um was getting better you know in my opinion like um it started off kind of okay like yes that really was meant to be uh streaming movie but then as it went on you could see why it was bumped up to a cinematic movie uh, i don't want to give too many spoilers away um 
the main actor, the kid from Cobra Kai, like he's a very likable actor. He he played the role of Jamie Reyes really, really well. The family was really funny too and had a good scenes in it too. It, it's just a good movie overall. I really liked it. And again, way better than I expected it. Um, um, one of my opinions is that and I'll probably make a dedicated video about this later on. It's just that the internet era has given the voice to a lot of people that want that actively want things to fail just so they can dunk and then, you know, dunk culture or whatever. Clickbait. They just want to get those clicks and the views and whatnot to help with their own, you know channels and whatnot or whatever media they use which you know the more power to them you gotta do what you gotta do to uh stay relevant and stay fresh on youtube or whatever um i choose to try to be more positive in my social media overall um like it's i'm not saying that that's how every place should be but you know take a lot of those videos and sites with a grain of salt um, take my videos with a grain of salt. Um, if you want to come to a better conclusion, you can definitely watch the movie yourself and, you know, come to your own terms. Like, that's what I did. I watched the videos that praised it, the videos that bashed it. Watched it and came to my own conclusions. And, hey, I, at least I personally in, enjoyed the movie. And um, hopefully, I kind of hope it does have good legs um, as the weeks go by because it should um it shouldn't be like a big blockbuster billion dollar movie but it, it should make a nice return in my opinion like it definitely deserves that um well that's pretty much my opinion of it and um that's it i'm, I'm probably going to read up on the character more i'll probably do fan art of the character actually i really enjoyed the movie that much that i kind of want to do fan art of it uh, i'll do it and post it up during the week or something anyway thank you all so much for watching and i'll catch you all next time